So folks, we got a hot button topic for you today. Dovetails and direct mount sights. Why you want one, why you want the other. And if you want my personal opinion, you're probably not going to like it. But let's go find out. So lately we've had a lot of people coming in here with dovetails and direct mount sights and trying to determine why one is the way it is or what the benefit is. There's a lot of misunderstood information out there, so we felt it was relevant to make this video. Dovetails are not more accurate. Now I know that you've probably heard that, seen that, that it's, uh, you see it on target sites, you see it on, you know, the guy at Levi Morgan's bow or, you know, um, Jesse Broadwater's bow, et cetera. Sorry, it's still a little early, bear with me. But these guys have those for a very different reason than you think, all right? The dovetail purpose, the farther you move your side away from your actual riser, the more magnification you actually have. So part of that purpose is to increase the magnification that they're using in, their, in your sight, which we're not using in a hunting scenario. The purpose of a dovetail is also to find the optimal distance away from your hand so your sight ring matches your target circular size in a paper style tournament. It is not more accurate. The farther you move that away from your hand, the more you will miss by when you torque. And let's be honest, we all torque to a given degree, whether it be a little or a lot. But if you amplify that movement, like let's say your sight's out two inches and you move your hand left and right, move your sight out four inches and move your hand left to right, it's gonna move more than twice as much. So it's going to drastically make you miss by more. Plus, in a dovetail, you have two mounting bolts and then an additional third bolt that holds the dovetail in place that is designed to move. Direct mount sights are not designed to move. And here's what I mean by that. So we've got a couple really good examples here if you wanna come in a little closer on that one. We've got, a dovetail sight, wing truss, black gold. Really cool sight, really cool dovetail system. It's freaking awesome from a target standpoint, but in a hunting scenario, I really don't recommend this. I would much rather go with an X-frame. And what this is, it's a direct mount. So there's two screws that mount to the bow. There's two screws here, and then an additional third one on a piece that's designed to come loose and move. It's supposed to do that. You don't want that to happen when you're hunting. Um, same thing with like Spot Hog. Let's go over to there. They have like the Fast Eddie and the Fast Eddie XL. You have the Fast Eddie, which is a direct mount system, two screws, low profile to the bow, lighter in weight. And then you have the Fast Eddie XL, whole bunch more weight, two screws, and an additional third item on something that's designed to come loose and move. Now, I've shot dovetails for years when I was younger, and these things vibrate loose all the time. Not exactly the ideal thing for a hunting standpoint. Now granted, you can put a locking screw in there and reef it down and try to get it tight, but it's still designed to come loose where this isn't. But the other thing that's really overlooked and not talked about a lot and what we really wanted to hit on here, and it's usually like the main reason a guy makes that decision in our shop, is how a one piece quiver mounts to that. So, and I've got two different examples. I've got your same exact site we were talking about, the wing truss and a tight spot quiver, which is really common. When you have this dovetail, it sits farther away from the riser. And then when you mount it, if you wanna still be able to use your dovetail and bring it back or forward, you have to mount your quiver way that way. So in this example, in order to clear your dovetail, that's gotta be out that far. Now look at the gap difference there. Now here's a good example of the way we would typically recommend it. That is an X-frame with a tight spot quiver mounted the other direction. Look at the difference between these two. What does that translate to in the real world? Trying to hold your bow upright vertically, it wants to do that. Try to hold this bow upright vertically, it doesn't do that. That's hand torque, folks. That's left to right impact variance, and that will cause you to miss by more. It is relevant and it's important. So any quiver that mounts over the sight, if you use a non-dovetail version, it mounts closer to the bow. It's just tighter, it's just quieter. So let's recap. It's actually more accurate because you're not moving it farther away from your hand, which takes away from accuracy, one. It's quieter because there's less individual parts. The quiver is mounted closer to the bow, which means it's got less variance. And let me throw one more at you, just so you know. Every single manufacturer out there that makes a dovetail and a direct mount, the direct mount one's cheaper. So you're gonna save yourself some money while you're at it. So that's my tip here and why we use what we use and why we recommend what we recommend because we build bows and set up bows primarily for hunters. Yes, we deal with target people and that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, if you're not gaining accuracy by using it, why are you using it?
it's heavier and it's more stuff and it's more money. Buy a direct mount site, folks. It's better for you. Thanks for watching our channel. Thanks for checking it out. Hit like, hit subscribe, come back and check us out some more. Head on over to podiumarcher.com for all your archery needs. $99 and up is free shipping. But more than anything, thanks for checking us out. Appreciate you. Comment below. Let me know what you think.